Thank you for tuning in. I'm going to show you how to make my hot cross buns. It uses a Japanese bread starter called a tangzong. That makes the dough softer, bouncier and fluffier. They're really simple. They're packed with fruit, spices and finished with a nice sticky glaze. They're amazing toasted with butter or just as they are. They're especially good at Easter or all year round. Let's do it. There are quite a few ingredients to get ready and there's a full list in the description below. I recommend weighing everything out before you start and I've separated them into wet and dry ingredients just for ease. Tangzong. It needs eight hours in the fridge, so we're gonna start with this first. We do this by cooking water and flour at a ratio of one to five to 60 degrees. The starches in the flour gelatinize, and this cooked dough is then added to the rest of the bread mixture. This is the secret that gives us that incredible texture we're going for. So into the fridge for eight hours, and then on to the next step. Making the dough. Add 640 grams of strong bread flour. Look for something with a protein content of more than 14 grams. 12 grams of milk powder, 14 grams of salt, 65 grams of caster sugar, 12 grams of active dried yeast, and 10 grams of ground cinnamon and nine grams of mixed spice. Give it a good mix. And then we're gonna grate one unwaxed lemon zest. And my top tip for getting the zest off, with a pastry brush. Add 290 grams of milk and one medium egg. Now we're gonna add all of the tangzong. Now it's time to mix. We're gonna work on a medium speed until all the dry ingredients have been incorporated. Alternatively, you can do this by hand. Add 55 grams of room temperature butter and work until the dough comes away from the side of the bowl. Add 75 grams of candied lemon peel and 250 grams of sultanas. Knead the dough until all the fruit has been incorporated. Put into a bowl and cover with cling film. and we're gonna leave it to prove until it's doubled in size, around 45 minutes. Onto the shaping. Divide the dough in half, and then half again. We're then gonna divide into 75 gram pieces. To shape the buns, you want to place a ball of dough on the bench, cup your hand over it and start rolling it into a ball, pressing down lightly using the friction of the bench to help with the rounding. It's not easy to do. If you struggle, you can do it this way. Press the dough out flat, then fold in the corners and then just tuck it over to make a round ball. Cling film again for the final proof. And in the meantime, we're gonna make the cross mix. To do this, combine 50 grams of flour and 45 grams of water to make a paste. Transfer this into a piping bag. Egg wash. Combine one egg yolk with two tablespoons of water. Give it a mix. When the buns have doubled in size, remove the cling film. Brush with egg wash. And pipe on the crosses. Bake in a preheated oven at 185 degrees Celsius or 365 Fahrenheit for 25 minutes.
glazing. Gently warm the golden syrup and brush the top of the buns. Thank you for tuning in today. I hope you've enjoyed learning how to make my hot cross buns. Remember to like, share and subscribe if you've enjoyed this video. I've been the London Chef and until next time, thank you for watching.